Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. So first of all, hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not sure if I like the music, but just let me know what you guys think. And second of all, I have some huge news. I'm actually joining Team MTB. I'm joining the Mystery Tackle Box team, which is absolutely insane. I'm so stoked about that. But anyways, if you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they're basically a subscription tackle box company, which means they send you a box of random baits every month and it's a great way to discover new baits and try new techniques so yeah they're a really awesome company and if you guys want ten dollars off your first mystery tackle box use this code right here and you can save ten dollars on your first box but yeah other than that i'm really excited i'm gonna be doing my first mystery tackle box slam today i'm gonna be attempting to catch a fish on every single bait in the box so let's get right into it all right guys so here is the mtb pro box this is actually an old box. I think it's like the November 2018 box. But basically what they told me is they wanted to give me a box as soon as possible. So they just sent this one out. But anyways, next month I should have the normal May 2019 box. But yeah, that's what happened there. Let's take a look at what's in the box. All right guys, so first up in the box, here's a little packet. It just tells you what's in your box. So let's go through this. You also get a sticker. We'll put that right there. But first up, you got a live target hunt for center crawfish that's 14 49 that's actually pretty expensive here's that it's just a little crankbait this dives six to eight feet so that might be tough to get out here but yeah next we got an excite baits xb5 that's longer hunt so that's this this looks pretty good this dives two to five feet so that's perfect for what i'm fishing today and then we got a striking rodent that's this. These look really good. I'm definitely gonna throw these on a jig. Next up, Big Bites, Coontail Worm. These look pretty sick. I can knock those off pretty fast. And that will go with these, what are these? That will go with these Mustad Elite Stand Up Head. That's, um, that's a weird name. But yeah, that should be pretty easy. And then we got these Carl's Amazing Baits, Craws. These look really sick. And then lastly, we got the Slunker Hunt Kraken Lipless. That looks sick. Sweet. So I'm gonna knock off the bottom baits first and then later on in the day, I'll throw the moving baits. So we're gonna start out, I'm gonna throw a jig and I'll use these Strike King rodents as the trailer. Here's what they look like. These are pretty sick. Just tear that apart. Yeah, that'll work really good. All right, guys, so here's the jig with that striking rodent's bait on the back. This looks sick. How far out are you casting? Oh, I got one. There we go. That was First fish of the day, guys. That was like my second cast. I already knocked off the striking rodent. We're gonna keep fishing with this though. That happened really fast. On the jig, that was sweet. Guys, I already knocked off the first bait. That was awesome. See, bud? Just a tiny guy. Oh, you got one? That a good one? Nice. Decent one. Dude, the jigs are crushing it. That was like back to back. Oh. What? Oh, dude, that's a fish. Oh my god, that's a nice one. Dude, I thought it was on a rock. I was just trying to pull my jig free, and then the rock started moving. Nice. Sick, we doubled up. I could just eye though, mine. Dude, the jigs are crushing it. Ouch. There goes George's. That's a nice fish. Second fish on the jig. We've been here like two minutes. See, bud. Well, there goes the jig. Yep. Wow. All right guys, so I'm trying to get out of the wind, but I got two fish with a jig using the Strike King Rodent Cross as the trailer. So knocked out this. Next, let's go. Let's see what we got. So I'm gonna go with the two-in-one. I'm gonna use these hooks 
and then use this on them. So this should be pretty sick. I think this will be pretty easy. And yeah, let's get to it. So all you do is you twist this on just like that. And then you're gonna push this right through there. All right guys, rigged this up. I did a horrible job putting the worm on, but you guys get the point. Let's get out there. There's a fish. Got him. Oh my gosh. Guys, a little guy, he was going crazy there. There we go. Guys, that happened so fast. Already knocked off two, two more baits from the MTB box. I've knocked out three now. That's a little guy. I'm gonna keep fishing with this though, because that happened really quickly. There's a fish. Got him. Another one on the worm. See you, bud. All right, guys, so it is really windy over here. So I'm gonna switch it up and try out a moving bait. And I think I'm gonna go with a crankbait. See what we got. So I'm going to go with the XI Baits XB5, which dives two to five feet, so it should be perfect. What do you think? Okay. And here it is. This actually looks really good. It's missing an eye already. That's not good, but it shouldn't affect the performance, so. Did it come like that? Yeah, look. But yeah, that sucks. All right, guys, tied up. This should crush it here. It looks awesome. Um, it is kind of hot, though. I don't know if they're going to be in the moving bite mood. Dang, dude. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. Is it swimming right? Yeah. There we go. Third cast. 30 second cast. Ha, it works, guys. All right, knock that out. I'm doing really good on the baits, guys. I've knocked out four, I think. First fish on the Excite baits. Um, crank bait. See you, bud. All right guys, I've been fishing with this XI Baits crankbait for a while. Haven't had too many bites, so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm going to go back to a bottom bait. I'm gonna go with these Carl's Amazing Baits. These look pretty sick, so let's tie this up. And I think I'm just gonna use the same hook that I use for these worms. Actually, what I'm gonna do, because I wanna use a heavier weight. So I'm gonna fish these Carl's Amazing Baits craws with a bullet weight, and then I think this is a four-out hook, just a text rigged hook, and yeah, this should work pretty good. All right, guys, so here is the rig I'm going with. This looks pretty sick. This should definitely get the job done. Let's just pull apart these appendages, and there we go. Look what I'm going with. Look how good this looks. There's a fish. Got him. On the craw. Get up here, boy. Oh, there, there he goes. Okay. Well, on the Carl's bait, amazing Carl's bait, whatever it's called, on the craw. All right, guys, a good tip to conserve baits is once the top of your bait gets ripped off or gets ripped up, just rip off the top and then you can still reuse this. And boom, there we go. Dude, look at all these, are those snails? There's a ton of them. Oh, bite. Got him. That's a good one. Dude, he fell like crazy. Hey, we doubled. Come up here, bud. Is that a good one? Guys, second fish on 
the Carl's Craw. Another tiny guy. Dude, eventually we'll get a good one. Oh, that was sick. Dude, a bass just followed my thing all the way up. Got him. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a nice fish. He's going crazy. What is... Oh, I snagged him. What? Oh, dude, it felt huge. What the... I have no idea. I think he swiped at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, bud. That is not good. Ouch. Well, another one on the craw. He like swiped at it and then I somehow hooked him. That's a solid fish though. Not even that big, but I think that's like the best fish of the day. See you, bud. There's a fish. That might be a good one. Just kidding. Why do they fight so hard? Jeez. Another solid one. Not too big, but he fought really hard. Got him. Another one on the craw. All right, so even though I'm getting a lot on the craw, I think I'm gonna switch up to that final bait in the MTB box. I think I just have one. Actually, wait, I think I have two. I have a rattle trap and then I have a crankbait. So, see you, bud? I might get one more on this and then I'm gonna switch up. There's another one. Oh, he took my craw, dang it. All right, well, Time to switch up. Let's go to that rattle trap. All right guys, so I am tying up this Lunker Hunt rattle trap. I should knock this out pretty quickly. And then all I have left, the only bait I'm worried about is this crankbait that I think it dives six to eight feet, but that won't be too good here. Let's see. Yeah, it dives six to eight feet. And I think the water here is only like four feet deep, so. That is gonna be difficult, but I should be able to get it done. All right guys, here is the Lunker Hunt Rattle Trap. It looks pretty good. Um, I should be able to knock this out within the next few minutes. And then I just have that crankbait left. There's a fish. Boom, got the rattle trap out of the way. That is a really tiny fish though. I'll probably try to catch one more with this, and then I really need to work on that crankbait. Oh, I got one. That's a big fish. That's a nice one. Dude, that's a nice fish. He's digging. What is happening? Dude, that's a, oh my God, look how fat that, yeah. Look how fat that thing is. All right guys, solid fish. Look how fat that thing is. Nice one. See you, bud. On the Lunker Hunt rattle trap, that was sick. Sweet. All right guys, I think I'm gonna take a couple more. First, sorry for the wind noise, first of all. But I think I'm gonna take a couple more casts with this Lunker Hunt rattle trap, just cause I just got a pretty nice fish relatively this whole day has been filled with tiny ones so that was a pretty good one compared to all of those little squeakers but anyways i'm going to take a couple more casts with this hopefully get one more decent fish and then i'm going to try that then i'll try that six to eight foot diving crankbait oh, oh that was cool got him that was so sick <laughs> Another one on the rattle trap. All right guys, last final bait I have to complete for the slam. This is gonna be a tough one. It dives six to eight feet and I believe the water depth here is only like 
four feet, so it's gonna be tough. This does look really good though. All right guys, there we go, tied on the crankbait. This is from Live Target. Dive six to eight feet, as I said, like 10 other times. But um, yeah. Is that a fish? No way, I got one. No, no, I had one. Damn it. That was a good fish too. Well, oh, that's not good. I just snapped off the crankbait. Well, guys, I did have one bite on that crankbait, and then it snapped off. That sucks. Well, other than that crankbait, I did complete the slam, so I'm just going to tie on a craw and then hopefully get a couple more. All right guys, I tied on a Texas rig hook with a bullet weight. Again, I think it's a four out hook. And then I'm actually gonna go with these Strike King rodents and this should work pretty good. Boom guys, this looks sick. This should crush them. There we go. On the craw. Little tiny guy ate the striking rodent. All right guys, I pulled up to a new spot and there's actually a snake head right here. So I'm gonna do my best not to spook him and hopefully I can get him to eat. Oh, that's not the snake head. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Okay, this is a bass. The snakehead's still just sitting there. Did you guys see that? This guy just exploded on it on top water. That was sick. Let me see if I can get the snakehead real quick. He's literally still sitting there. He did not move. Okay, there goes the bass. Here, let me just release him. All right, here's a bass. All right, the snakehead's still there. Oh, he spooked. It was insane. That is a pretty little bass. Alright guys, I snapped off the crab, but I still have a couple minutes left. So I tied on the Lunker Hunt um, rattle trap, and hopefully I can squeeze in one more fish before I have to go. There's a fish. That's a nice one. There we go. On the rattle trap. All right guys, that is most likely the last fish of the day. Crush the rattle trap, that was sweet. See bud? There's another one. Oh my gosh, that is a tiny little bass. Come up here, bud. All I'm doing with this is I'm throwing it out and then I'm keeping my rod tip up and reeling as slow as I can without it scraping up the bottom. Cause I don't want this to get caught on a rock, but I also want to give them time to eat it. And there we go. Another little guy on the rattle trap. I'm getting a ton now. There's another one. All right guys, that is gonna do it for the video. I had a great day. I think I caught a fish on every single bait except for the deep diving crankbait. But yeah, I caught a ton of fish. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing